Okay, um, just wanted to quickly show you my um, keyword finding strategy for AdSense websites. So, um, for this purpose, I actually use uh, my favorite tool, which is SE Cockpit. So, I'm actually at the logon screen of SE Cockpit. So, I'm just going to quickly log in. Um, I guess uh, there's certain criteria I look for when I'm actually searching for. Um, keywords for AdSense niche sites, um, and the, the one of the one of the important things to understand is the um, the uh, when you're actually making a site um, purely monetized using AdSense, you you need a certain amount of traffic and a certain um, a minimum CPC or cost per click value for that site to be actually be viable <coughs> and profitable in the long run. So uh, so the uh, those are the two main criteria I look for. Obviously, um, the other things that come into picture are the competition, keyword competition, and um, and the advertiser competition, which uh, which makes a particular keyword uh, viable in the long sense for AdSense in the sense that it will uh, will that whether that keyword will actually continue to make me money in in the coming months or years. Um, so let's uh, let's just quickly get into it, and I'll I'll uh, demonstrate how I actually what what things I look for when I'm actually doing search uh, for AdSense keyword. Um, so I'm just actually inside my root folder, um, which is AdSense. So to f to start searching for keywords, what you need to do is to uh, if you've never used SE Cockpit before, um, is to you can either create your own custom folder where you can put your uh, keyword you're searching for. Or you can just leave it in your root folder. In this case, I'm actually inside an AdSense folder. So um, you click on the keyword research, and um, so this pop window kind of pops up, and you can see um, the keyword phrase you can type in there. And so my number one criteria for AdSense keyword, I need um, a minimum of exact 1,000 searches. Um, so that keyword has should have a search one of at least thousand um, exact match um, to the keyword. So I'll set a filter. So in order to set that filter, so uh, what this will do is this will actually save you time in the sense that you you know um, SE Cockpit won't actually show you keywords uh, which don't meet that specific criteria. So I'll actually turn this uh, Google AdWords synonyms um, button on, and let's quickly set this filter up. So oops. Um, so you set that to 1000 and then you start typing your keyword so I'm j really for this purpose I'm just going to use um, a keyword which uh, which I will demonstrate so um, let's look at something like um, gas suppliers so you can see um, the cool thing about SE Cockpit is actually giving you all these uh, different suggestions uh, based on which is almost like um, you if you were to do keyword research inside um, inside of Google uh, what Google instant does for you will actually give you suggestions based on your search pattern and um, so let's say I select uh, uh, gas supplies and save and close and this will uh, initiate the keyword research as your cockpit will actually start looking for um, keywords or related keywords um, based on my seed keyword which is gas suppliers um, so let's just wait for this to come up okay now the results have um, just come back and uh, let's look at some of the information we've got so you can see there's a there's a whole lot of uh, related keywords um, t which uh, which are based on or related to my seed keyword which is gas suppliers um, so the first thing I'm going to do is to, as I said, my minimum, uh, the first filter I set was my minimum search criteria for this keyword is a thousand search, exact match searches per month. So you can see, uh, okay, well that's interesting, I don't know why that's 720 showing up. Um, but anyway, so the minimum search is a uh, thousand searches. Um, and then the next thing I'll do is to, and I'll look for a minimum CPC of one dollar at least. So to set that filter, if you just click on this button next to the CPC uh, column and go to the filters and you can see there's one typed in there so anything that's greater than one um, we, sh we don't um, we want to see anything less than one we don't want to see so we set the filter um, so there you go now it's um, filtered out all the keywords which don't meet that um, criteria so you've got at least 
uh, keywords which have a CPC of one dollar so you can see all of this list here and the next thing I'm going to do is to um, find competition which is, this is advertiser competition which is really an indication of the strength of the competition so essentially what that means is how many advertisers are actually bidding for this keyword of how, how competitive this keyword is which is always a good sign the more advertisers actually bidding for a keyword means it's a buy keyword and this is more likely to make you money um, so let's just filter so I'll at least look for 50 um, uh, advertiser competition of 50 so same thing I've typed in anything greater than 50 we want to keep anything less than 50 we want to just delete so set that filter simply by clicking this button here and there you have it so you've got a list of keywords uh, which meet your three main criteria which is minimum search uh, 1000 searches per month CPC of at least one competition of at least 50 so now we can start looking at some of the um, so okay let's um, um, just to um, just to kind of um, show an example of what I mean uh, when I'm actually looking for a um, good keyword um, let's look at this keyword uh, gas, gas prices UK so let's double click on that so now you can see it shows me um, a list of um, basically what uh, list of results what actually um, the pages which are ranked in top 10 of Google uh, for that keyword um, so you can see there's um, there's petrolprices.com uh, and a whole bunch of other sites um, what are gas.com on the bottom of the list um, so my my criteria for this is if I, if I was to go for this keyword then I would look for uh, two or three main things the first thing is the page rank um, I want to see at least uh, more than two websites which have a page rank of zero so you can in this this case um, this is Moz rank which is actually uh, similar to page rank but it's actually supposed to be uh, even more accurate than um, page rank which is Google's um, based on Google's algorithm so you can see um, I've got so you can see how many how many pages have a page rank of zero this is one um, at number four there's another one at five there's another one at eight and this said so that meets my first criteria that um, I'm looking for at least two pages which have a page rank of zero um, and the next one I'm looking for is the uh, the juice links um, so how many links um, um, are actually pointing to this domain or this page which are actually helping it rank up in Google uh, for this uh, criteria I look for at least two websites which have um, which have zero juice links coming to as your backlinks coming to a given page so once again I can see clearly the juice links number four it's zero number five is zero and number eight is zero and number nine is zero so that meets my second criteria that um, there's more than two zero more than two website uh, pages which have um, zero backlinks so that's uh, that satisfies first two uh, two of my first criteria of four uh, if I was to go for this keyword so the next thing I look for is the the keyword in the title so you can see there's a title um, bar there so all of these actually showing uh, what these uh, pages are put in the title um, section uh, so our keyword is grass prices UK so let's see how many actually how many uh, pages are actually using that keyword in their title so the first one is not using it uh, second one you can see all of these are highlighted these are your title um, tags um, so well, in fact, that's um, that's a really good sign. Except one of the web pages, all of the web pages are not using uh, that specific keyword in their title. So that's um, that's a, that's a really good sign. So um, essentially, um, and then that's my third criteria satisfied. And then the next one I look for is um, I would look for at least um, uh, more than two um, pages which are not root domains. So this first one is root domain. So you can see petrolprices.com. So it's actually not. Um, uh, this this page isn't listed as a sub page of this uh, or, or a sub folder within the root domain so that first one is, is a root domain so the other ones you can see they actually there's multiple uh, layers of subfolders so you can see this one's actually article energy oil news and then there's another one in there so pretty much um, except for this one and the last one bottergas.com all of the um, all of the pages are pointing to um, sub pages within the the URL which is which is also a good sign so that meets my all the criteria I'm looking for um, if I was to go for this keyword it means which means that I can actually uh, confidently say that I can rank for this keyword um, based on those criteria I've just mentioned um, so yeah I would I would definitely um, try and um, go for this keyword 
So hopefully that sort of gives you um, some idea of um, how to actually, what things you can look for when you're actually doing keyword research for AdSense um, websites. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one.